So I guess I'd act, when you're doing the BPC, what are you, are you looking just for pain relief? And is there anything you're looking for in, in particular for a responder? Yeah, it's really just pain and function. So, you know, and, and sometimes pain improvements will show up in different ways, right? Sometimes it shows up in a reduction in pain number. Sometimes it's flaring less often. Sometimes it's my pain mm -hmm. flares don't last as long. And so there's always, you know, variations of how people respond to improvements, but it, it's pain. You know, I don't, I, I've looked at this enough in patients that I've just stopped looking, but I've never seen anybody he actually heal anything from just taking BPC. So someone has a supraspinatus tear, yeah. you're not taking BPC and you're repairing that thing. Dang it. You're, yeah. it, it can become pain free and that's great. But if we throw yeah. an ultrasound on it or take an MRI, it's going to look the same. And so, and that's where I think the the big difference going back to our discussion earlier on the animal research where they actually show that no BPC can help to regenerate tissue in an acute injury setting. Yeah, and yeah. so that's why any acute injuries we have, the first thing I'm like, get on BPC 157 because that's your best chance at supporting the body to heal through the process it's already trying to go through as opposed to just dumping BPC in on a chronic scenario. Mm -hmm. And so that's also why it's one of the number one supplements we use post PRP and stem cell procedures, mm -hmm. because again, we're, we're stimulating an injury. We're stimulating a healing response. And I think there's synergy with all these peptides in a healing response, but I think BPC is just the most profound is, you know, we're just pairing those two and it works so well together.